Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. So if you read the title then you know I'm gonna be doing an updated like ponytail braid. I've done one of these videos before almost two years ago now and it got a really great response. I'm happy people seem to find that tutorial helpful. It's crazy because when I did that video like two years ago, honestly it was just, just doing my hair. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show them how I do this. But so many people have DM'd me telling me that video helped them, so I'm happy to hear that. But I wanna show you guys my updated method that I feel like is a little bit easier. But before we jump into that, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Nutrafol. So Nutrafol is a hair vitamin in which you take in order to help your hair not only grow, but become thicker, become healthier, become fuller. Honestly, just overall help your hair become better. I've been taking these vitamins for two months now. This is like my third month supply. And I promise you guys, if you remember that vlog in which I mentioned, or it was called out to me, if you will, that a bald spot back here, I swear to you, this combined with hair oils and just braiding my hair with my wigs has helped that bald spot grow back. And it's crazy because I kind of like, when I notice a bald spot, like yeah, of course, I don't, I don't want a bald spot, but I'm like, okay, I'll grow back. I wasn't really thinking too much into it. And they reached out to me and I'm like, okay, like I could use a hair vitamin because I do want to grow my hair back. But it, it turns out that not all bald spots grow back. When I got my hair done last week and I she saw where the hair was growing back, she was like, you have some hair growing back right here. I'm like, yeah, I had a really bad bald spot from like the ponytail tension. And she was like, you're lucky because a lot of times that area doesn't even grow back. And I think it's because of everything I've been doing. I have to say that because like when she said that, I kind of got hyped. Come like, okay, cool. Like I'm lucky it's growing back, but it's because I'm taking vitamins and put an oil in my hair and just really trying to maintain my hair on the outer portion of my hair, but on the inside as well. I think that if your goal is to grow out your hair, one, you need to make sure that you're, you're putting in protective styles. So if you guys notice, I've been really on top of like braiding my hair, making sure that like my hair is hydrated underneath my wigs because yeah i could just slick it back which is faster however i noticed that my hair has been growing more when i braid it put oil and i take my vitamin because you want to essentially make your hair as healthy as possible and so you need a vitamin for that you need one because the vitamin's going to help the new growth everything that's growing now and then your strands already it's going to help to repair those strands and to make it healthier but then the oils and the treatments you do on your actual hair is going to help strengthen the hair even more. So I promise you guys, I have been seeing a lot of hair growth recently and I think it's because I've cracked the code. I a thousand percent believe that when you are taking a good vitamin, which Nutrafol is a great vitamin, in combination with wearing protective styles, your hair will grow way faster. Cause I've been noticing since taking these vitamins and just changing my hair routine, my hair is growing so much more. And it feels healthier too. When I got my hair cut last week, I mainly wanted her to trim off the dead ends that I ruined with bleaching my hair. And she trimmed them off and my hair feels so much better. So I'm gonna link these vitamins down below for you guys. I recommend getting a three month supply because I feel like when you take them consistently is when you notice the biggest difference. You take these without food, you take four vitamins a day and you're good to go. If you watch my weekly vlogs and you know I have been on top of my vitamins ever since I got my little vitamin case. So you just take it really fast and you're good to go. And I promise you guys, it's making a huge difference in my hair. So check down below for more information. And once again, thank you to Nutrafol for sponsoring this video. So let's get into this ponytail. So my hair, I actually did some deep conditioning treatments right before filming this and I re-dyed it. So I'm being serious when I say I'm taking better care of my hair. Like all around, I'm taking way better care of it. So when I went to get my hair cut, she recommended products to use and just honestly how to treat my hair better and I've been following her steps. So first things first, I typically dye my hair black with permanent dye. She said based on the state of my hair right now, she doesn't recommend me using any permanent dyes because they're chemicals and it's gonna damage my hair even more. And it's crazy because I've always thought that if I'm not bleaching my hair or dyeing it light, my hair should be safe. But black hair dye has chemicals too. And I know that seems like a no-brainer, but like when I would, <laughs> like crazy, 
when I would do my hair, I wouldn't even think of it that way. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not lighting the hair, so it shouldn't be an issue. But black hair dye has a developer too. So she told me, stay away from that. And she was going to dye my hair for me, but I really wanted to do this ponytail. And because my hair was so many different colors, it's hard to color match that with like the hair I'm gonna use. So she said, she recommended a cellophane or a semi-permanent dye. So I did a semi-permanent dye and then I put a cellophane on top and my hair feels great, like it really does. And I got the color I want. Now, will it fade faster than a permanent dye? Yes, but is it healthier for my hair? Yes, so I don't mind that. My goal is to make my hair long and strong. So, that's the goal. I want, like, of course I'm never gonna stop wearing wigs cause I love wigs too much, but like, I wanna take off my wigs and people be like, damn, like, that's crazy, like it looks good. And honestly, I just, I love black hair dye because I swear, sometimes it looks like I'm balding in the front. And that's another reason why when Nutrafol reached out, I agreed to like, you know, try them out because I'm like, okay, like I need my hair to be thicker anyways. But not only is my hair slightly thin in the front, but when my hair grows out, because my natural hair color is like a sandy brown blonde, my baby hairs turn blonde. And so if my baby hairs are turning blonde, but the rest of my hair is still black, that contrast makes me look like my hair is thinner than what it actually is. And that's another thing my hairstylist pointed out. She was like, oh no, it's not as thin as you think. It's just the color. And so I couldn't wait to turn my hair back black because I promise you, like, there's a difference. So I love black dye. But right now, I'm just taking my edge control and I'm putting my hair in a ponytail. I blow dry my hair, I used heat protectant, and I also used a leave-in too. Because if I was straightening my hair, which I don't plan on it, I'm only gonna allow my stylist to straighten it from here on out because she does it to where my hair gets the least amount of damaged. And so I'm gonna just trust her to do that. But if I was straightening my hair, I wouldn't have put the leave-in in, but because I'm putting my hair in a ponytail and I don't mind my hair being, I guess, like a little more stiff, I put the leave-in in just, so my hair stays moisturized. So, I'm just trying to slick this back. So I'm taking a comb and just combing through to make sure it's flat. I have a trick though. So okay, if your hair is not laying flat enough in the front, take that first little section. Now, okay, this is like a rush ponytail. I mean, this is just how I do it in general. But when you go to the salon in order to help make it more sleek, they're gonna do this in layers. So you won't need to do that if you're doing it in layers. As in like, you know, part out the hair. They do it in sections. You know, they part it out, put the product, lay it down, section it out. I don't wanna get straight to the point. So I'm also going to, I'm gonna bring the ponytail a little further back because I don't wanna put the ponytail where that bald spot is because we're trying to avoid tension right there. So. I'm gonna move the ponytail a little bit back. It's like, ponytails are fine. It's just, you don't wanna keep putting them in the same spot because that's how you get in my position where like too much tension is in that spot all the time and it starts to thin and then it starts to bald. That's how that happens. So just like move them around, you know? I totally forgot to tell you guys a tip I just did. Basically, if you wanna lay it flat but it's like being annoying, section out that front piece, put the ponytail in, and then you lay that down. It's much easier to make it look flat that way. That's what I've learned. I'm not gonna tie that into the ponytail until I do this bottom half because I'm trying to avoid putting too much tension. And the more like ponytail holders you use, the more tension there is, so we're avoiding that. And I like to do it in two sections. It makes it easier. Like, there's some people who could just put their ponytail and just just one little take and that's that's cool um, but my hair is kind of thick and so that does not work so I just section it and I do one at a time and then I just connect them this is random but I really do love taking my vitamins it just it makes me feel so proud I know that's like super random but it's like when you're taking vitamins and you know it's for your own benefit and you know, okay, like I'm taking care of myself. It feels good to do that. I can't explain it, but every morning when I take all my vitamins, it improves my mood. Cause it's like, look at you taking care of yourself. 
being a little adult. I know that sounds so corny, but I'm so serious. So because I dyed my hair jet black, I'm using the shade number one, and I like to use pre-stretched hair. It makes your life so much easier. So much easier. I want a pretty simple short ponytail. However, I want it to be thick. So I'm gonna open up another pack just to make it thicker. So there's two ways you can do this. Let me cut this second one. There's two ways you can do this or you can make the ponytail thicker. So you can divide this into up into sections and as you braid the hair, you could just do feed in or to kind of save yourself some time, I'm gonna split it in half. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna split this in half because I don't want it too thick and I'm just gonna add it to this. And that's just gonna make it thick all the way through. So then you get a scrunchie and you just loop it like that so you can anchor it to your head. And then you take it and I feel like it lays the best if you bring it to the front and then anchor it down. That's just what I've noticed. And then it goes over. It just helps look more natural. So here's why I do different. I, and okay, you probably have seen this in this tutorial already, so like it, I didn't invent this, but I'm just redoing this video to show you guys how I do it differently. So in the past, I will make a very tiny bun and cover the bun with the braid, which you can still do. Honestly, it works if you have really short hair, but now that my hair has grown, it, it's not the same. Like my bun is slightly bigger. So I just section out a piece from the hair. And honestly, it's better if you have someone holding this, but I'm gonna just clip it. So now I'm going to section and basically this middle part where my hair will be at, I'm gonna just have all my natural hair in that. And then I'm gonna start braiding, it's really simple. And like, I'm perfectionist, kinda sort of. So it's like, what I do is I'll braid it and then I'll get another little mirror and just see, okay, do I like that? If I don't, just take the braid out and just redo it. But for the most part, I don't have complaints. So I literally just braid it. I hope my camera's in focus, I cannot see. I won't know until I'm editing. And I'm bringing it kind of tight, but I'm going to go back in and loosen it up. If any of your hair sticks out, it's okay. You can just tuck it in. It works better when you have nails. And then as I get over here, I'm going to start braiding it kind of inwards. So as you can see, my sections look uneven, right? So... Because I know I'm about to run out of hair at this one, I just grab hair from the one that has more and I just divide it that way. And I try to do it as seamless as possible so it's not obvious. Sometimes it is. But like honestly the way I see it, if anyone's staring to braid that hard to tell that you divided the hair and spread it out, they're, they're staring too hard because like who even notices that? Tie the end with the rubber band. Probably wanted to, I could go dip this. Truth is, I'm lazy and I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm just leave it as is. So now, take this part and I'm gonna wrap it tightly first for that first loop. And then take it, make sure it's kind of fanned out so that it's really covering that base and just wrap it. You guys see what I mean? I swear the other placement is so much more elite, but I have to take it easy. I'm putting my ponytails in that placement. So cute. This is so cute. I like it. All right, edges. Let's do it. Just gonna take like that. My hair already has edge control from laying it down the ponytails, so I don't need to add any extra. When I do ponytails, I like doing like extra edges because it makes my forehead look smaller. I'm gonna thicken up my hairline a little bit with this little fiber spray. I just got this thing today and I love it. But you gotta press pretty light or else you'll put too much. And I don't want that. 
Not you breaking on me. I don't know, what's your deal? You were just working perfectly fine. No. What did I do wrong? I don't know why this is not working on me, but it's, this is so disappointing, because I literally, <sighs> ooh, I was about to eat. You know what? There's a different attachment to it, though. Just pour a little bit on, I guess. Okay, that seems to be working a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna just blend it out with my brush. Okay, that looks cool. You see, like, it made a very subtle difference, but like, I, I like it, you know? I wish my top would work, that'd be nice. But I'll be doing this from now on until my edges are fuller, which I really do think from taking Nutrafol that will happen. All right, I think I'm done. I swear, whenever I do my hair like this, I look like my mom, and it makes me so happy. I dead ass look like, anyways, I'm just tripped out. I wish I looked more like my mom. I look like my dad side, that's another story. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, once again, thank you to Nutrafol for sponsoring this video. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna have all the links down below. I 1000% recommend you get a three month supply. Don't do just one, get at least three months, honestly six months, uh, six months if necessary because last time I grew my hair out, which was like almost four years ago now, it took it took a, a year for it to like fully grow out. And just imagine if I was taking even better vitamins and uh, like braiding my hair. Here's the thing, a few years back I was taking gummies. Now gummies aren't bad, but I like Nutrafol more because it's a more natural option. And you guys know I love gummies. I just love candy, so I like anything sweet. But gummies have added dyes and added sugars, which I'm trying to avoid, which is why when Nutrafol reached out to me, I'm like, okay, this is perfect. Because I would prefer to take a more natural option with my other vitamins, you know what I'm saying? Like there's only one gummy vitamin I take now, and that's a probiotic. And I'm almost done with that jar, and when I'm done, I'm gonna switch to a pill form because at the end of the day, Gummies are cool if you forget to take your vitamins, which is why it worked for me a few years ago. But buy a vitamin case and I'm promising you'll take your vitamins every single day because it's fun doing it. That's another story. But gummies have so many added sugars that overall they're just not the best for you, which is why a natural vitamin is best. So try out Nutrafol. I'm gonna leave their link down below. I recommend either three or six month supply even for a year if you want to go crazy. Stay tuned for more of my results. I cannot wait until that middle part of my hair is all growing out. I can't, I just, I'm really excited about my overall hair journey because I have been, I found a good hairstylist, a black hairstylist who understands my hair and has given me so many good tips so far and I've only been to her one time. I see her again next week too, so I'm excited. I am excited because like I'm finally learning more about taking care of my hair. I know how to braid my own hair now. I've been consistent with my oils. I've been consistent with my vitamins and I feel like this is gonna be the healthiest my hair has ever been. This time around, I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of heat on it. I'm not gonna dye it, at least with permanent dyes, which has chemicals which would further damage my hair. I'm not doing any of that, so I'm excited. And I'm gonna start doing more natural hair videos just to show you guys what I'm using, what I'm doing, and whatnot if you're interested. So, like I said for like the third time, thank you to Nutrafol for sponsoring this video. Check down below for all the links necessary. I hope you guys enjoyed my little update tutorial on how I do my braided ponytail now. If you wanna see my other method, I'm gonna link that down below as well as put a card, so check that out too. And I'll see you guys in my next video.